Well, it is just the perfect morning out here on the Eyre Peninsula. I'm exploring a bit of new ground. I'm doing something slightly different today. I'm going to target kgs using plastics, which is not often done. Um, I've been finding they absolutely love Ned rigs, and I'm really keen to show you how it all works. It's going to be such a good day. All right, first things first, I'm going to rig up a couple of fresh grubs. Grab that and that. So the KGs absolutely love eating bloodworms, I've found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig up a Ned Rig uh, TRD Core in a bloodworm colour um, on one rod. And then I'm also going to rig up the classic bloodworm grub on the other. Two different styles of bait, but the whiting just seemed to love both of them. So that's the craw, you can put that on one rod. Early in the morning, I'm gonna go with a brighter colored jig head. So I've got a hot orange one here. I'm just gonna add that to that bloodworm grub. Like with all plastics, get them rigged up nice and straight and then they'll swim perfectly. But this is just such a great imitation of a little sand nipper and because these plastic sit upright in the sand those claws wave around and what I've found is you can do the twitch twitch to bring them into life lift them off of the bottom and then once they sit back down again that's when the whiting tend to eat them very cool bait and the last little thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of procure scent on there because the whiting got a very good sense of smell and that just seals the deal so bit over the top of the Ned rig and we're good to go. Let's do it. So this is a big shallow bay. There's lots of weedy bottom, but the classic sort of whiting sand patches in amongst it all. So what I'm doing is I'm electricing up. We've got an incoming tide. Um, so that's just holding us in position. And I'm just gonna go search out these sand patches and that's where I wanna put my bait. There's one. The whole school of them there. Look at the size of that one, that's a big whiting. That's crazy. Just see him cruising across the sand like that. Oh, straight onto it. Got him. It's a salmon. <laughs> Always nice sight casting fish though. <laughs> There's lots and lots of these salmon in the bay. But it's good fun, you know. It's always good fun catching a few salmon. I always fight pretty well. It was straight, straight onto that plastic, eh? It's awesome. <laughs> well, I think I had one cast, half a cast. Got a fish. Air Peninsula is a very, very cool place. Little scrapper. But nice to be on the board, straight up. All right, dude, you can get back in. Tell me where the whitings are. So what I've found when I have been coming in catching these kgs on plastics as they're onto it pretty much straight away so I like to burn through the sand patches and find out where those fish are I think you know typically probably if you're bait and burley fishing um, you'd be trying to bring the fish to you with burley but with this style of fishing because you're not using any burley you really have to find out where those fish are and they'll be in certain sand patches and not in others so just power fish through it until you find out where they are Might be a smaller one. Grabbed it twice, so eh? I can still see him there. It's pretty amazing to be able to sight fish kgs in the sand like that. He's 
seen it. Go, ah, oh, Got him that time. There he is. <laughs> Whiting that actually jumped. That's amazing. <laughs> there we go. Now, a lot of people would have thought you'd never be able to catch whiting on plastics, but not only did we just catch one on a plastic, but we sight fished him across the sand too. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Check this out. I'm amazed, I'm literally amazed at how well Ned rigs work on all sorts of species, particularly whiting. And now you must excuse me, I'm not very good at holding whiting. So I'm gonna do my best here. They are like little crocodiles and they roll around. But check that out. KG on a, oh, I told you, I told you they're gonna thrash around. Ah, ah. Saddle, be nice. We just want to show you to everyone to prove that you can catch KGs on plastic. There he is. Now the size limit over on the Air Peninsula is 30 centimeters. Um, so this one's well and truly legal. So he, is coming home with us for dinner. Ah. Dude, come on. Hey. Oh, there. Hey. Ah. Awesome. I've probably said it a thousand times, but a quality pair of sunnies is as important as your fishing rod because I simply wouldn't have seen that fish on the sand there and these these photochromatic tonics have just been outstanding and have caught me like a lot more fish. There's actually some big ones in there. Got him that time. That was awesome. <laughs> that is pretty specky. It's pretty specky. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Sight casting, whiting over the sand. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. I like that. Now, he just thought that Ned rig was a little sand nipper. That's beautiful. <laughs> so cool. KG's on plastics. Absolutely love that. That's number two. We're going to eat well tonight. 33 and a half. Beauty. Got him that time. That's a big one. <laughs> Why do they jump? Look at him go. <laughs> that is epic. Yeah, trophy whiting on the plastic. Yes! <laughs> Look at him. Check this out. That is a good size whiting on a plastic. The Air Peninsula is famous for its whiting fishing and the fact that you can come over here and catch them on soft plastics just makes it that much cooler. Who said you couldn't catch whiting on plastics? Is. Nice. It comes. Check that out. <laughs> I think in fishing, very, very important. I know I say lots of things are important, but to think for yourself. Um, I was told by several different people that you had to come and fish for the whiting in the afternoon, whereas I've found all of my fish have been coming on the morning tide. So going out and just trying it for yourself rather than just following what everyone else says, I think pays dividends time and time again. And he is well and truly a keeper. Beautiful. In you go.
a little bit of wind pushing up now. They did forecast it to get, get up during the day. Um, so I'm just adjusting my rod angle to try and keep as good a contact as I can because they pick it up and drop it so quickly. <laughs> what is that? That is something very big. It's a whiting in the side. <laughs> that one doesn't count. He's obviously come to have a look at it and got himself caught up, but he's a keeper. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep him. What were you doing, man? Just coming to have a look. Another beautiful KG. Hey, hey. Oh. Out a spot for you, which is nice and cool. Just in there. Ah. <sighs> Trying to anticipate the strike. There he is. Felt like a good fish too. I'm sure they just grab the claws and because it's stretchy, it feels like they're on, but then they just come off. Is one of your mates there? There he is. Ah, oh, come on. There he is. <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually. Another beautiful air peninsula. Whiting. <laughs> what a catch! And the tour across the air peninsula has been so cool. It's so good exploring new areas and it's so rewarding trying new things and targeting whiting on plastics was not something that I really thought I'd be doing but man it is good fun and it's super effective and what a way to catch a feed of whiting. It just proves that whiting can not only be super tasty, but they can be a pretty cool sports fish as well. That is awesome. I'll get him in the esky. Dude, you are coming for dinner, and I'm pretty happy with that. 